Welcome to this episode of GVTV. I'm Natalia Barr here with Quinn Van Camp. Hey Eagles, let's get started with some announcements. The Grain Valley Eagles are the 2014 Class 4 District 13 champions. This is the first district title for Academic Bowl in school history. The Eagles are now 23-0 on the season. The team earned their first district title on Saturday at Lee Summit North. The Eagles have earned their first trip to sectionals, which will be Wednesday, April 30th at 5 p.m. against District 14 winner Park Hill South. This year's district team includes Katricia Herring, Mike Fitzpatrick, Emily Farmer, Zach Griesinger, Carson Graham, Riley Crabtree, Mackenzie Farish, Cheyenne Pahokee, Brian Baumgartner, Michaela Fox, and Caitlin McCain. Health, personal finance, theater, A-plus tutoring, and community service classes will all be offered during summer school this year. However, theater needs 15 students to make up a class, so pick up an application in the counseling office ASAP. The third annual Run for Rachel 5K and One Mile Fun Walk is scheduled for Saturday, May 24th. This event started by Lois and Harvey House in the memory of their daughter, GVHS graduate Rachel House Hudson, raises money for scholarships for Grand Valley seniors as a sub-fund of the GV Education Foundation. Last year, they awarded four $1,000 scholarships to GVHS Class of 2013 as a result of this event. So be sure to sign up at the runforrachel.org. The Grand Valley Police Department's 7th Annual Victims' Rights Golf Tournament is Friday. May 9th at Adams Point Golf Club. It costs $85 per person or $500 as a team sponsor. The day will include whole contests, cash prizes, and a silent auction. Make sure to sign up today. Thank you to all of the seniors who have submitted your baby and senior pictures for the graduation slideshow. 146 out of 208 have submitted. Seniors, now we need you to submit group pictures from kindergarten through senior year for the senior breakfast video. Submit to Ms. McElwain. This will be shown during the senior breakfast. Seniors who are interested in being a part of the goodbye segment for GVTV can record after school. Please stop and sign up for a time slot. That's all for announcements. Sports are continuing to do well this season. Let's head out to David and Timmy for a closer look. Turning up the volume so we're laughing on the dial. Hey there, Grand Valley. I'm Timmy Hinton here at Moody Murray Field with your sports update. Over break, the Grand Valley Boys and Girls Track got started off Thursday night at the Winnetonka Invitational, meddling many people and coming out with a top 10 finish. They then went on to the KU Relays where they had some great efforts. Your Grand Valley Boys baseball team won the Marshall Tournament, posting a 3-2 record over their last five games. Good job, boys. Now on to your Grand Valley Girls Soccer where they competed against Pleasant Hill last night in a 2-0 victory. Moving on to your boys golf where Cameron Skinner and Hunter Peterson led the way with scores of 81 and 84. They finished third in their MRVC tournament. Great job boys and good luck at districts. Now we'll send it out to Riley with some interviews with our student athletes. Hi, I'm Riley Presno here with Ryan Neiman, a key player to our varsity baseball team. How you guys been doing lately? We're doing good. We're 4-2 and two in our last six games and we're really bringing things together. How have you guys been bringing things together? Uh, we're playing as a team and getting key hits. What do you guys have going on this weekend? Uh, we got the Boonville Woodbat Tournament. Thank you. I'm Riley Presley here with Mike Fitzpatrick, leader of our Grand Valley Academic Bowl team. What's your guys' record this season? Uh, right now we're standing at 23 wins and zero losses heading into sectionals. For some of the viewers that don't know, what exactly do you guys do in the Academic Bowl? Well, um, there's a set of questions that we answer for a number of points, and then at the end of the game, whoever has the most points wins. How do you guys plan on doing in sectionals? Uh, we've had a tough streak of falling behind early in games and then coming back. So if we can keep that up and come back late in the games, I think we'll be all right. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Riley, for those interesting interviews. I'm David Hodges. I'm here with your weekly GVTV sports wrap-up. Grain Valley Track had a one meet this week in the Grain Valley Invite and is working hard this weekend in order to do successful at the Holden Invitational next Friday. Grain Valley Baseball is heading to the Boonville Wood Bat Tournament, where they hope to have great successes as they have in the last couple weeks. Grain Valley Soccer heads to the Sedalia Tournament in order to have some great successes and hopefully win the tournament in a, as a whole. The state-bound team of Cody Ziegler and Chris Eubank are heading into the weekend with one win and hope to get another in the Elise Summit North Tournament. Good luck to all the sports and thank you for your time, GV, and now back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, guys. Let's hope for more success at GVHS. As you all know, AP tests are coming up. Are you nervous for your tests? Yeah, I am, but I've been studying a lot. Well, let's go out to Sadie and Chandler to find out some good study tips. As you all know, AP testing is starting here at the beginning of May, and if you don't know what date your test is, make sure you go to the counselor's office or see your AP teacher. Now we're going to go around school and find out more information on AP testing. I'm here with Callie Dean Carson. Um, do you recommend taking AP classes? Absolutely. Why? 
<laughs> uh, because they really get ready for college, teach you how to study, and then you don't have to take them in college. Sweet. Hi, I'm the AP psychology teacher, and I'm going to give you some tips on studying the next few weeks for the AP exam. One term we talk about in AP psychology is the spacing effect, and it's the idea that you will recall information better if you space out your studying. So if you want to help yourself in the next three weeks, study a little bit every night and don't plan on cramming the night before. Thanks guys. That should really help people prepare. After AP tests, the end of the year comes quickly. And with the end of the year comes a lot of things for seniors to remember. Let's head out to Chris with some quick reminders. I'm Chris Eubank here with GVTV and a little reminder to the seniors. May 5th is AP testing. May 9th is uh, graduation practice. The 14th and 15th are finals. The 15th is also our last day. Make sure to have your power play permission slip turned in by the 16th to Miss Bolt. And 22nd is graduation. Thanks, guys. Although GVTV looks pretty easy, there's a lot of hard work that goes into our productions each week. So watch this and get a glimpse of GVTV behind the scenes. Maybe we'll be a little more appreciated now. I know, I've earned it. No, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the new is always better than old? We're going to head out to Isaiah to compare the new cases to the old one. I'm Isaiah Akers and I'm here at one of the newer cases we have here in Grand Valley. In this segment, we're going to be comparing this cases to the newer cases we have built down the street. Just like all the other KCs, they'll still offer gas, but instead of four pumps, they're going to have eight. They'll still offer pizza and their normal general goods. I'm Isaiah Akers, and I'm here outside the new KCs in Grain Valley. This KC is located right down the street from the other KCs, which is right down the street from the other KCs. Thank you, Grain Valley, for building so many KCs. I didn't realize all those differences. Thanks, Isaiah. Now we're going to head over to Emma to find out some news on community service. Listen up, seniors. If you haven't turned in all of your community service hours yet, there are still some opportunities to get it finished. On May 2nd, Stony Point Elementary is having a sock hop. It's from 4.30 to 8 p.m., and you can sign up with Miss Lever in room 201. Also, the Mid-Continent Public Library, Red Racks, and Harvesters are just a few other places that are always accepting volunteers. Make sure to get your hours turned in. You need 20 to graduate. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Emma. That's all for today. Thanks for joining us on this episode of GVTV. Make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at GVHS Eagle Media. We need the support from our viewers like you, so don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm Quinn Van Camp. Thanks for stopping by.